What happens at the border affecting those farther north? Lido police have dealt with five migrant vehicle pursuits in just one week. And the night team's Patty Santos tells us what police are advising those in the rural areas to do. But I guess what's strange is, you know, we're 132 miles from the border, so we're not a, I mean, I never considered us a border community, you know, I mean, but when I see this happening, well, maybe we are a border community. You know, we caught up with Lido Police Chief board. Richard Priest just as he returned from a vehicle pursuit bailout, the fifth one this week. They stopped a car. They, I guess they ran off the interstate there and didn't wreck, though, fortunately, and, and uh, they detained seven Honduran nationals, and then the driver fled on foot, and that's what our resources went. Okay. Pursuits and bailouts involving migrant smugglers, it's a trend he's noticed in the last six to eight months. This one last month, 12 migrants and a smuggler detained. Sometimes the bailouts are literally at their doorsteps. One of my officers, it went right in front of his house. The next two days later, they had one went right in front of his house here in town in a residential area. So it's, it's a little different than we've never had that before. The nine officers on his department are mostly there for support, but he worries about the increasing chances of injuries as they chase migrants through fields and creek beds. He's asking rural residents to help police by giving suspects fewer places to hide by locking their sheds and homes. We try to tell people, you know, maybe maybe you're going to need to harden up your, your location a little more, especially if you're on a... 35 corridor, but we had two in the, in town, so it wasn't real. So it really applies to everyone. Patty Santos case had 12 news. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.